Hello and welcome back to my channel. During the course of the past year I've made a number of uh, videos all based using Nikon mirrorless cameras and a variety of lenses and where wildlife is concerned predominantly the F mount 200 to 500 and occasionally with a teleconverter attached. Whilst the 200 to 500 was an excellent lens I still needed more reach as often the subjects were too far away from where I could get as a photographer so I was delighted when Nikon introduced the 800mm lens. Uh, today I've come to the Rye Harbour uh, Nature Reserve. I've been here once before but not really um, to do any photography and today uh, I've come along with my uh, Nikon Z9 and also my Nikon Z7 II and I brought um, three lenses with me. I've got on the Z9 I've got the new 800 PF lens. Um, I've also got with me the 100 to 400 and a 2470. So today I'm going to see what we can see. I'm, I've come round to a hide on this reserve which I've as I said never been into before. There's not a great deal to see at the moment but it's uh, quite early. I got here at uh, 20 past 7 this morning um, which was only half an hour after uh, dawn and um, well it's it's uh, not a bad looking day. Um, the forecast is quite good. A little bit of a breeze. Um, should be some sh sunshine and some broken cloud but at last no rain having had an extremely wet uh, autumn so far but incredibly mild temperature this morning is about uh, 15 degrees which is uh, ridiculous for november here in the southern half of the uk we should normally be expecting frosts um, to say the least anyway let's see what we can see Well, I didn't spot them arrive, but there's a whole uh, load of cormorants now. There. there was only one a few minutes ago. Too busy watching the other birds. And a little grebe has just popped up. On this tiny island just in front of my hide, there's a red shank in the middle and some widgeon. Meanwhile, the little grebe right in front of me is ducking and diving as is foraging. Throughout the morning, several flocks of birds put on spectacular displays, almost akin to the starling murmurations. Uh, here is a whole flock of lapwings. I've taken the opportunity to, uh, first of all, slow the speed down 
uh, using uh, the footage that was captured at 60 frames per second and then seeing this slowed right down so you can see all the movement of the wings and then in the next clip or as it clip progresses it will speed up again Well, I've taken quite a bit of footage now here on from the hide, so I think it's time to go outside and uh, brave the breeze. Well, like I said, it's not cold and it's not rainy, and um, see what we can see from other vantage points. When I stepped outside, there was a considerable amount of breeze, which uh, showed one of the uh, disadvantages of the long lens, and that is when the wind is beam onto it. It's very difficult to hold it steady, even when you have it on a gimbal mount, as I did on a monopod. Anyway, it allowed me to get some excellent shots of uh, this great white egret. I was delighted to catch this moment when the uh, egret caught a fish and it was uh, amusing to see how all the cormorants and gulls immediately took a serious interest. However, the uh, egret was not to be intimidated. Finally, gulp down its catch. I then moved on to the Gouda hide, which is at the opposite end of the stretch of water from the hide that I'd been in earlier that morning and therefore offered a totally different outlook on the proceedings. I had only been there for a very few minutes when this red shank arrived just in front of the hide and gave me a great photographic opportunity. This hide gave me a great opportunity to video another very large flock of birds that was putting on a tremendous display. I believe these are Dunlin.
Finally, I was delighted to uh, have the opportunity to photograph this spoonbill. I'd never seen one before out in the wild, so this was a great opportunity. Well, for the second part of the, uh, this trip to uh, Rye Harbour Nature Reserve, I've been in the Gouda Hide, um, which, uh, yeah, there was a lot more uh, activity to photograph and video. The only downside was <laughs> we were absolutely pointing straight into uh, uh, the blasting wind, which really was uh, uh, blowing very hard into here. Um, so all the sound on the camera, I suspect, is completely wiped out. I, haven't, I didn't bother to try and uh, record any voice while uh, uh, videoing. Um, so it'll all have to be overdubbed and uh, with some added sound effects. But a very pleasant morning, plenty of uh, activity. Um, we saw the great white egret, there been uh, the spoonbill. Uh, and uh, numerous other birds which I will need to go and sit and identify afterwards. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this was, the video was all shot using either the Nikon Z9 with the 800mm Nikon lens on it, um, or the Z7 II which I put the 100 to 400 uh, millimeter on. Um, and uh, obviously that will all be intermixed. Uh, so, right, well that's it. Now I'm packing up. It's um, 10 o'clock. I've been here since uh, quarter past seven and um, uh, time to drive back and load all the footage onto the computer. Bye for now.